Welcome everybody, this is John Michael Ferrari and welcome to Songwriter's Perspective. I'll be sharing with you today my perspective on songwriting, the stories behind my songs, how we recorded them in Nashville and made it onto the pop, country, independent and mainstream music charts. Also on today's show, music producer Pepper J will be speaking with our guest, singer-songwriter Presley Tennant, on her perspective on songwriting and her stories behind her songs and her amazing rise in the music world after her appearance on The Voice. And singer-songwriter Taryn Ami Smith with her beautiful song, Are You Looking For Me? But let's start the show with this song, the song that got us on the independent and mainstream music charts so beautiful. You can make the stars shine when there's nothing but the night. You can make a heaven moment you arrive Can't measure an ocean Or how much rain will fall Only say You're beautiful Beyond anything at all You're beautiful I remember the first time So Beautiful hit the radio charts. It came in at number 98 on the top 100. Pepper and I were absolutely thrilled to see my name on the charts with so many famous people. Even though we were at the bottom, it was our first breakout song. Our song almost didn't get radio play. When we recorded the song at Larry Beard Recording Studio in Nashville, Larry reminded us that having three verses plus a bridge would probably exclude us from getting radio play because it wasn't in one of the current country pop formats. So we reluctantly dropped one of the verses and turned out to be a great move because we got fantastic radio play, hitting the top of several country and mainstream charts at number two. Dreams are hard to find sometimes But my miracle came true I made a wish and opened my eyes Now I'm here looking at you How fast do angels fly? Is it fantasy or true? Only know you're beautiful Beyond anything I know So 
so beautiful. How the innocence of a beautiful young child inspired me to write this song. Later on, we'll talk more about what is radio structure in pop and country music and the importance of these current formats. Every song has a story how it was created. My songs come from my experience, my joy, my heartbreaks. For example, one day while strumming my guitar, searching for new inspiration for a song, Pepper entered the room and handed me a photograph. When I looked at the photo, I felt a sharp pain in my chest. It was taken in Paris of me and a very special young lady who was no longer in our lives. And for that instant, I felt my heart could not breathe. Set of words Help me understand Why it's gonna hurt A single sigh Is less than two Me standing here Without you But it's too late Too late for me I'll do my laundry In privacy But it's too late Too late for me My pride won't hurt me Cause my heart can't breathe. Recording in Nashville is an exciting experience. If you're going to record in Nashville, my advice is find yourself an excellent music producer and session leader. Once you're in the studio, the process is fast. Having a music producer and session leader take a lot of pressure off the recording artist. We generally record five songs in three hours, giving us about a half hour for each song. I couldn't ask for a better music producer than Pepper J. You're listening to Songwriter's Perspective. I'm your host, John Michael Ferrari. You're going to love our singer-songwriter guest today. With over 364,000 TikTok followers, this 20-year-old entertainer has already opened for Tim McGraw, Kelly Clarkson, Blake Sheldon, just to name a few. And with all that, she's trying to feed the world. Please welcome music producer Pepper J, interviewing singer-songwriter Presley Tennant. Welcome, Presley Tennant. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Very excited to have you on the show. Everything you're doing just puts a big smile on my face. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me also. In such a short time, your career is exploding. What first made you want to get into music? 
So growing up, I had always had a love for singing. I would always sing around the house. Um, and I started taking vocal lessons, you know, just to keep the karaoke voice going and make sure I could still do like the little karaoke nights and sing Pat, ben- Pat Benatar's Heartbreaker. Um, but from those vocal lessons, I started doing little competitions and was introduced to a girl group called the Five LPs or the Five Little Princesses. And that is where I was just introduced to the entire music industry. And I fell in love with every little aspect of it. What a wonderful opportunity. It seems to have brought you a long way. What are some of the skills that have helped you on this magical musical journey? Oh, there's so many I could go go off of. But I would say for myself, learning who I am was a big one um, through my artistry and making sure I know exactly who I want to be and what my sound is. Um, I mean, I feel like everything that I've learned, it might sound cheesy, but it's like mainly just like believing in myself and making sure that I am, I'm authentic to who I want to be because the transition is so much easier from coming off stage to my normal day-to-day life because it's just me. What made you decide, yes, music is the way I want to go? I think for me, growing up, I'd always been a very, I've always been more mature than like everyone that was the same age as me. I mean, I'm, I'm only 20 right now. Um, but I grew up and I played soccer and I had friends that were going to high school and things like that. I was like, you know what? Like I, I want to like get my life started and I know exactly what I already wanted to do. And so I put all my efforts into my music and my career. Um, and my thing is like, I know because since I was young, I kind of had a head start because a lot of other artists don't start their career or in the music industry until they're a lot like in their twenties. So I felt like I kind of had that, that leg of being like, I already know what the music industry is. And so I, and I loved every bit of it. So I just kind of kept rolling with it. And I, I haven't been more, more proud of what I've been doing. I'm enjoying your music. I subscribed to your YouTube channel, did all the other social media. I am now a fan. Gamble on You, wow. How did you come to that song? I wrote Gamble on You last year, um, and it was kind of inspired by... I'll give you a little quick story about it. I was in Nashville, and I was tracking the next couple days. I had already had my songs picked out, and I just wasn't in love with one of those songs. I was like, you know what? Let me see if I could write something else real quick, and if not, I'll go back to those songs. And so I started to write something. I was scrolling through the TV channels and I in the hotel room and I came across the poker channel and I just left it there. And then I was texting this guy I really liked and I had no idea how he felt, but I knew I was kind of taking a chance and being like, okay, well, I'm giving it my all. I hope that he's feeling the same way as me. Um, Cause if not, like I'm taking a risk. And so I looked back at the TV and the poker channels on and I was like, Hey, like poker, gambling, love, all kind of the same thing. So like, it's kind of like I'm taking a gamble. I'm taking a risk and I'm taking a chance and I'm putting everything that I have into this and not knowing the outcome. And so I felt like it was a pretty fitting song. So I sent it over to my producer. He kind of helped me out with, um, with some of the music. I went into the studio the next day and then I finished writing that song. I went back to the studio again the following day and the song was finished. And now let's take a listen to Gamble on You. Be the 
gotta see to my left and it's yours tonight Losing track of time Cause I can't seem to get you off my mind Show me your lead This ain't a game of luck we both can see My love ain't free So how much you wanna bet on me? Don't be a joker Or play me for a fun Come on baby Show me your next move I'll be the queen to your king Since you asked me to But don't for now Cause I'm taking a gamble on you amazing Presley just un- unbelievably wonderful wonderful music I don't know if you'll be able to answer this question but can you give us a little hint about the new single of yours coming out in September break my heart oh I am so excited about it um break my heart is I would say it's a little different like you think of break my heart and you think you want somebody to um or like somebody broke your heart um but I feel like lyrically it's actually quite opposite so i'm really excited for everyone to finally hear it and understand what i'm saying because everyone probably thinks they're like huh how is that like why what is she talking about but it makes sense once everyone hears it so it's the 18th of september is that what we're looking at yeah or the 16th i believe oh okay one of those two days and and we'll look for it presley thank you so much for being on the radio any last thoughts you have for the radio audience Uh, Thank you so much for supporting my music, and thank you so much for listening to this. And thank you so much for having me, by the way. Oh, you're certainly welcome. John Michael, back to you. Thank you, Presley, and we look forward to your new release of Break My Heart. You can connect with Presley, PresleyTenet.com. That's Presley, P-R-E-S-L-E-Y, Tenet, T-E-N-N-A-N-T. Today's singer-songwriter's guest joined us courtesy of Core PR. That's K-O-R-E-P-R out of Nashville. I'm your host, John Michael Ferrari, and you're listening to Singer-Songwriter's Perspective. I don't mean to interrupt, but I just thought maybe I could save you some time. A very special singer-songwriter friend of ours we met in Nashville and I had the pleasure of sharing the same stage with her on multiple occasions, is Taryn Amie Smith and her beautiful song, Are You Looking For Me? One of my favorite heartwarming songs. I don't mean to interrupt But I just thought maybe I could save you some time Before your heart gives up Let me ask a personal question If you don't mind Are you looking for me? Is that what I heard you say? Is there a reason we're here today? Are you looking for me? Someone who care for you Always be there for you That kind of love That's what mine would be Are you looking 
hope I wasn't just imagining what I'd like it to be. This feeling is so strong. It seems like you might feel the same thing when our eyes meet. Are you looking for me? Smith, are you looking for me? Beautiful romantic song, kind of reminds me of Paris. I mentioned earlier something about song structure. What is good song structure and the importance of having song radio structure in pop and country music is the difference of getting radio play or not getting it. That's why it's important to have a good producer who understands these concepts, even if you don't. We follow these concepts, and the results were radio play both on country and pop music radio stations. Even if you hear the song for the very first time with good structure, there's a familiarity about the song that the listeners like. Let me map out one of the structures that I use for many of my songs. First comes the intro of the song. There will either be a four-bar intro or eight-bar intro. If it's a four-bar intro, usually it's a slow song. If it's an eight-bar intro, maybe it's a faster song. Then comes the verse. Usually the verse is eight bars, then a pre-chorus, which is four bars, and then the main chorus, eight bars. The whole idea is to get to the main chorus within the first 40 to 50 seconds of the song. The title of the song usually comes at the beginning of the chorus, sometimes the end, or sometimes the beginning and end. There are other variations of this structure, but this is one of my favorites. The real key component is, if you have a good song, is the radio structure and production quality. We record all of our demos in our own studio and work out the arrangements there. As a songwriter, I think I have a good concept of music arranging on how to build a song from a technical viewpoint to an artistic viewpoint. I'd like to play one of my songs with a little bit of different radio structure. I call it classic radio structure, where the title comes in at the beginning of each verse, then a bridge, back to the verse, bridge, back to the verse again, and then you're out. I would say this song has more of a country jazz feel to it. Don't need a reason to love you Don't need a reason why I do cause I do When it comes to loving you I don't need a reason why I 
Don't need a reason to hold you Don't need a reason why You're my shining star You are cause you are And I don't need a reason why You're more than I could imagine Oh, I love your taste in fashion Oh, you're my dream of dreams I can't believe it's true I'm sitting right here Looking at you I don't need a reason to kiss you mm -mm. Don't need a reason why Your lips and your complexion I finally found perfection And I don't need a reason why Others think you're always in the pink. You're a sensation, what a creation. For me, another dream. I don't need a reason to love you, don't need a reason why. I do, cause I do. When it comes to loving you, I don't need a reason why, no, I don't need a reason why. I'd like to thank everyone for listening to Songwriter's Perspective. Each week I'll go more in depth about the music business, the benefits of being an independent artist, or being a signed artist to a record label. Also, I'd like to thank my guest Presley Tennant for being on our show. And if you get a chance, please check out her website. She's got an awesome website. That's Presley Tennant at www.presleytennant.com. I also want to thank Taryn Amy Smith for that beautiful song of hers, are You Looking For Me? And music producer, Pepper J. And remember, my album, Be The Smile On Your Face, is available for you on Amazon. You can purchase my CD or download my music. You know it's my music when you see Ozzy, my goat, on the cover with a smile on her face. All right, my friends, thank you for listening. Until next week, there's never a stranger in the audience. Let's come together like a rock and roll.